I'm going to show you how I catch flounder on my kayak while kayak fishing. I caught two flounder on back-to-back -back kayak fishing trips, so it was awesome. To catch them, I use a flounder hook, which is long and narrow, and an artificial sandworm made by gulp. It actually has a scent to attract the fish. And then a small weight to send the rig to the bottom of the ocean. You know, these flounder are flat fish with a dark top and a light bottom, uh, and they hang out on muddy or sandy areas in the bottom of the ocean, and they camouflage themselves and wait for their prey before they strike on them. So when you cast your rig, you can either cast it and reel it back slowly so that your rig floats towards the bottom of the ocean, or you can just jig it nearby your kayak uh, where you are and then troll around in the sandy area near a beach. So I'm, I caught this flounder um, in the sandy area near a beach and uh, it was awesome. So, you know, whenever I see uh, the fishing reports saying that um, the flounder in season or people are catching flounder, I, I usually use one of my fishing rods to target flounder and then my other fishing rod is targeting bait fish or striped bass and it's a lot of fun. So now that I know where the flounder are, I actually went on the very next day to the same location with my kayak again and here's the rig, same rig I'm using. Now you can use natural sandworms, or, you know, live sandworms but for me, they tend to come apart and uh, it's tough for kayak fishing because you have to buy them the day before and have them ready. So I like the artificial plastic sandworms because they're very resilient. Once you start feeling a tug uh, on your fishing rod, give them some time because you want them to swallow uh, the part of the worm where the hook is. And sometimes if you lift your rod up too early, you may just lose part of your worm and not set the hook. Here in Boston, um, they're actually the limit for winter flounder is 12 inches and you can catch eight fish and you can fish them for them all year round. Summer flounder, uh, also known as fluke, the limit is 17 inches and you can ca catch them between May and October and you can catch five of those. Now they're the same species but um, slightly different. The, the difference for, for winter flounder is the two eyes are on the right cheek of the fish. And for summer flounder, which is a larger fish, uh, the two eyes are actually on the left side of the fish. It's also known as fluke, summer flounder. So both of these fish were less than uh, a foot long, so I had to return them both, but it was still fun. You know, I've caught uh, summer, I I've caught flounder, winter flounder off of piers, and I've caught some keepers, and I've cooked them in my cast iron skillet. They're great. Actually, in England, they uh, catch uh, flounder there, and I think in Dover, they call it Dover sole. It's a fancy fish you might see at fancy restaurants. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. If you have any other uh, tips on how to catch flounder, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. Also, I've got another catch and cook flounder video, which I'll also share at the end of this. Thanks a lot, and uh, you know, check out my fishing playlist. You might see other videos that you might enjoy. Have a great day.